You ever feel a little light on funds and wish you could have all that silver and gold adding up on your character sheet in real life? Me too sometimes, which is part of the reason I started a Patreon. If you've got a couple coppers to spare, I would certainly appreciate them. Link down below, wink wink. But in this video, we're talking all about free stuff. Specifically, we're talking about five free excellent adventures you can download and run at zero cost to you right now. I say it a lot, it's great to have options. And having these modules tucked away in a folder somewhere to run as a one-off on a night when a few players can't make it, but you still want to play some D&D, great option to have. These are also great resources for filling up your sandbox box with toys, right? Fleshing out an open world. I'm going to put links to everything we're talking about down below in the description for easy access. Let's get into it. Our first adventure, like several on this list, is actually pay what you want on the DM's Guild. And that means you, if you want to have it for free, you can, but you are encouraged to contribute some money to the creator if you can. And at the suggested price of $1, this would be a great deal at four or five times the price. I've personally run this one four times for brand new players, for seasoned veterans, and once, very drunk, at my bachelor party. And that gives you a little insight into the kind of guy I am, but it's more fitting than you might think at first, because to start this list, we're talking about a Most Potent Brew by Richard Jansen Parks at Winghorn Press. Now, I rarely drink NDM at the same time much anymore because a buzz makes it harder to keep track of everything and, you know, regulate my emotions, but I ran a Most Potent Brew sober to kick off my last campaign because this was the option the players chose and it's earned a place in my sandbox. A brewery, right, or insert your local inn or tavern here, has met with success and is expanding. Construction in the cellar has revealed walls of the buried wizard's tower, and when those were broken through, giant rats poured out. We start in a tavern. We are sent to kill rats in the basement. This is classic D&D stuff right here, but the adventure quickly proves it's not just bringing worn out tropes with a solid puzzle featuring a beautiful full color handout and a unique final monster, the giant inferno spider that always gets a big reaction from the table. This is a great self-contained adventure to run as a one shot or fold into the greater world, introducing your campaign. In my game, the proprietor of the tavern is expanding the basement to build an underground fight club. He's partnered with three kobolds in a trench coat who are secretly going by the name of Tyler. It's two for the price of one references, a great detail, if I say so myself, and an opportunity for like a PVP mini game complete with gambling if you want to change things up or blow off some steam in the future. I'm a big advocate of taking things, making them your own, and showing the players the impact that they are having on the world. That's what I've done several times with our next one on this list, the free and famous Delian Tomb. If you're spending time watching me, you are almost definitely familiar with one of the OG and most famous dudes who talk about D&D on YouTube, Matt Colville. He kicked off his series on running the game by putting together this little example dungeon, and people have been running it and adapting it ever since. I'm gonna to link to the original videos, which have the files for this one in the doobly-doo, but there are a ton of versions out there, and I'm also going to attach one that is more of like a fleshed out on-ramp, which some of you may find helpful. Do a Google image search for Delian Tomb to get a variety of maps and just appreciate how far reaching this little dungeon has become. I think I've run this one four times as well. In my game, the door to the Delian Tomb is at the base of the hill where the blind priest's temple sits. And I'm not going to count my own stuff in this list of five, but as a bonus, I'm going to say that I have several adventures and emergent encounter tables up on the DM's Guild that I am I'm obviously very partial to, and while most of them are technically not free, I always put the whole thing in the full preview so you can check it out and, you might not have realized this, also download it. I will link to those in the doobly-doo and the playlist of those videos as well, and we'll get on to number three. While our first couple of D&D free adventures were built for first level, our next one is built for level four or level five, and this is one where I was actually a player for once, run expertly and entertainingly by my brother-in-law, so I've actually studiously avoided looking at it deeply until making this video, and only now have I realized it's also by Richard Jansen Parks at Winghorn Press. I knew it as a creation of somebody on Reddit, and it became very popular, and if I did know that they were one and the same creator, or I forgot years ago, so it goes. A wild sheep chase is just good, wacky fun, and a Murakami reference, so that's great. A sheep with a scroll of speak with animals tied to its collar, 
approaches the party, and it turns out it's actually a polymorphed wizard who wants help regaining his home and his true form in the process. This premise is a little zany, but there's some serious consequences in play before things conclude, and sometimes like a lighthearted romp where people might die is exactly the tone you're going for at the table. If you're running a heavier game, I think this is a great one-shot to pull out as a change of pace, and if you're full gonzo all the time, then this should fold in pretty nicely. Now, number four on the list is actually the only one here that I haven't had like direct experience running or playing. I've prepped it for my Ghost of Salt Marsh campaign years ago, but the players never ended up there, so it goes. And in the process of reading this one, I got very intrigued by it. Not just the adventure itself, but the way it's formatted. I think the unique structure is a big part of the reason that The Secret of Skyhorn Lighthouse by Kelsey Dion at Arcane Library is one of, if not the most, downloaded adventure on the Dungeon Masters Guild. In this one, evil eel folk have taken over the local lighthouse, stranding all the ships in the harbor and our fifth level characters in the process with a laser focus on pacing that I think most DMs, new or experienced, will find useful and even instructive, each encounter in here is given one full page which spells out the central dramatic question and the transition into the next encounter once that dramatic question is resolved. This is an excellent technique, and even if you don't steal it to use in all of your future prep, seeing it in practice here will set you up to go reaching for this tool when you need it. Again, always good to have options and never stop learning. Link to this one and to a video of Kelsey walking through it on the Arcane Library YouTube channel down below. All right, so that's two level one or level two adventures and two higher level four or level five adventures. Fold in the four vertigree table adventures and mix in those three regional encounter tables for good measure, and you've got months of content to run at your table. But let's say you wanted something a little more linear, or you wanted a big through line to scatter all these more sandboxy elements around. Well, I've got just the thing as our fifth free D&D &D adventure, and it's a big one. The Lost Mine of Fandelver, the excellent module inside the original 5th edition starter set, is available for free on D&D Beyond these days. This is one of, if not the most popular Dungeons & Dragons adventure ever, and with enough content inside of it to run a campaign that goes from 1st through 5th level, that's a lot of value for the low, low price of nothing. Also, another free resource is the Dungeon Master walkthrough guides I made for that adventure back when you actually had to pay for it. I'm going to link to it on D&D Beyond and the playlist of my videos down below as well. In Lost Mine of Fandelver, our heroes are going to run around hopefully rescuing Gundren Rockseeker, a dwarf who's discovered the legendary Lost Mine. And they're going to bring peace and prosperity to the frontier town of Fandolin in the process. I'm in the midst of doing a DM prep series for the Dragon of Icespire Peak, which is actually set in the same location and would be a great follow-up if and when you've exhausted all of this free stuff. And there is a third adventure due out in the summer of 2023, I believe, also set in Fandolin as well. And while we don't know too much about it at this point, I do have very high hopes, and I will certainly at least consider doing a series on that one as well. I sincerely hope that you got a lot out of this one, a lot of value. If it's feasible for you, please consider supporting these authors who put in the work to build these products for you and your friends and family, including yours truly, but also all these independent creators, and yes, even Wizards of the Coast. Hitting like, subscribe, leaving a comment, Comment down below, perhaps to recommend your own favorite free resource, is another form of digital currency, and one that I always appreciate. Thank you so much. You can find more resources for getting started with D&D in this video. Thanks so much for watching. Get out there, be kind, have fun. I'll see you next time.